With the latest version of the Laravel installer, we now have a new way to install custom starter kits. So before we could always run Laravel new and we give the folder name and we can run through creating a new Laravel application or we can select one of the three starter kits. But now we have the ability for custom starter kits. Let me go ahead and show you how this works. So I'm gonna open up my sites folder and I'm gonna create a new Laravel application. And I'm just gonna call this awesome sauce. And then we can use the using flag and we can pass it a repo for any specific starter kit. And I have a repo that I created at tnylea slash Laravel dash new. I will share this repo below the video so you can check it out if you want to. And this lists out all the starter kits that you can install with your Laravel application. So you can see we have by default the LiveWire starter kit, the React starter kit, and the View starter kit. So I'm going to show you how to install one of these custom starter kits, and then I'll also show you how you can create your own. So let's go ahead and dive in. Okay, so first let me show you how we can use a custom starter kit. And to start it off, I think I will just use the Genesis starter kit. This is a starter kit that I created a few years back, which includes Volt and Folio. So I'm going to include this dev dojo slash Genesis inside of the using flag. So I'm going to say I want to use the dev dojo slash Genesis starter kit. Okay, and I just sped that up just so we don't have to sit there and watch the whole thing, but it only takes about 15 to 20 seconds. So then it says we need to CD into the folder. So let's CD into awesome sauce and run composer, run dev. And now we can go to our URL and check this out. We have this new starter kit right here in front of us. So you can select any of these starter kits. You can also include Statomic if you would like to. So this command lets you install any starter kit, but it also lets you install any Laravel application. So say that you create a new Laravel app and then you make some modifications to it and you want to use that as a starting template. That is what I'm gonna show you how to do next. Okay, now let me show you how you can create your own custom starter kit or your own custom starter template. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm just gonna create a new Laravel application. So we're just gonna call this my template. And we'll say we don't want to include a starter kit and we'll just run through the rest of the installation. Okay, now we'll CD into my template and then we'll run composer run dev. And you'll see if we visit this in the browser, it's just a standard Laravel 12 application. So let's make a modification to this welcome. Let's say that we want to include a new welcome page in our starter kit. Let's open this project up in our code editor. Okay, so I'm going to my resources views and I'll go to the welcome blade. Okay, and I'm going to add just a heading tag and just call this my custom template. And let's go ahead and just add some inline styles here. So we say font weight bold, and it'll say font size, let's say 40 PX. And maybe we want to align the center. I think that should already be aligned center. So let's go back to our application and we just get my custom template. Now let's say that this, let's say that I added a bunch more stuff to it. Say that I added some packages. I added some custom routes. In fact, let's go ahead and add some routes right now. How about I go to routes web.php and just add a simple route. I'll say route get my route and we'll just echo out a string just so we can confirm that this is the template that gets installed. Oh my goodness, I cannot type. There we go. Echo, hello from my template. Okay, so let's go back into our application. So we have my custom template on the home page, And now if I go to slash my route, you'll see that we get the hello from my template. So let's go ahead and save this template. We need to push this to GitHub. So I'm going to go to GitHub. And I'm going to say that I want to create a new repository. And we'll just call this my custom template. And we'll say that I want this to be in my account. This is my custom Laravel template. Okay, then we need to run 
these commands. I need to do git add all. But before we do that, we need to update the composer.json. So for the name, this is going to be my organization or my username. And then we called this my custom template. And you can call this whatever you want it to. This is going to be how people install it. So when they use the dash dash using flag, this is what they are going to add to include your template. And of course, you need to make sure that it's not already taken inside of Packagist. And then you'll be able to submit it to Packagist. And I'll, I'll show you real quick. So let's save that. And let's add this to GitHub. Okay, so I'm just going to copy the rest of this. And we go back here. We see our template looking good. Now we're going to copy this URL and we're going to go to packagist.org. And I'm going to submit this as a package. So we'll check that it doesn't exist. It says this is the repository. Press submit to confirm. And there we go. We've now added it to Packagist. So now we'll be able to use this template as a future starting point for any Laravel application just by passing dash dash using and then our username and the project. So let's test this out. So I'm going to go back to my sites folder and I'm going to say Laravel new custom template. And we'll say dash dash using equals and that will be the name that we provided. So slash my custom template. Okay, and then I'll cd into custom template and I'll run composer run dev and check this out. If I go to this URL in my browser, we get my custom template. We can then also visit the URL slash my dash route and we get that route right there. So this is a really simple way to create a starter kit or a starter template that you can use as your starting point for any future Laravel application. Uh, be sure to check out the repo that I show below the video. And if you do create some really nice templates or really nice starter kits, go ahead and submit it uh, so other people can take advantage of it. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. I hope you're stoked about custom starter kits and I hope you have a great day.